Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about three of the most difficult listening situations if you have a hearing loss and what you can do with hearing aids to help you hear much better in them. Coming up. I want you to take a second to think of that one situation that you always seem to have difficulty hearing in. Chances are you don't have to spend that much time thinking about it because it's a situation that you encounter all the time. After nearly 10 years of working with patients who have hearing loss, I've identified certain situations that nearly everybody has difficulty with no matter what type of hearing loss you have. In fact, there are three situations that get reported so frequently that I would bet that you experience difficulty in at least one of them. But before I get into what these three challenging situations are and what you can do to fix them, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button it really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of a broader audience and while you're at it if you've not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos that being said I greatly appreciate it now let's get into those challenging environments the first challenge that I'm going to discuss is being able to clearly understand the television the TV can be hit or miss sometimes all you need to do is increase the volume or turn on closed captions and you have the problem solved. However, not only does turning up the volume of the TV drive other people in your household absolutely crazy, it can also create a phenomenon called upward spread of masking, which is where the low frequency sounds that you do not need more of end up masking over the high frequency sounds that typically give you the perception of clarity. That's why when you increase the volume, you're like, well, this is getting louder, but it's not that much more clear. Closed captions are usually the result of an annoyed family member who does not want to damage their own hearing just so you can hear the TV marginally better. Which means that you will no longer be watching your favorite TV show, you're going to be reading your favorite TV show. The second difficult listening situation that I constantly hear is having difficulty understanding speech on the telephone. The telephone is unique in the sense that you do not get to see visual cues by looking at the mouth of the person talking to you, and you only get to use one ear unless you want to broadcast that telephone call for everyone else to hear. Using visual cues to help you fill in the gaps of sounds that you cannot naturally hear helps you understand speech significantly better, and you've probably experienced this now that people have been wearing mass due to the pandemic. And only being able to use one ear while you're talking on the phone makes things more difficult as well because the human brain understands speech better when both ears can participate in the listening task at the same time. Combine these two reasons for increased difficulty along with someone who has a really heavy accent and it is a recipe for complete disaster when trying to understand someone on the telephone. The third challenging listening situation and clearly the most often reported is hearing in a noisy restaurant. The reason why restaurants are so tough is due to several things. First of all, there's a lot of noise in restaurants. Second of all, you have a lot of reverberation and echo inside of these restaurants that typically have poor acoustics. And on top of that, you're trying to hear usually multiple people who are at the same table as you at the same time. And you're even trying to hear a server who's coming up to you who probably is still wearing a face mask. All of these factors combined make hearing in a noisy situation like a restaurant the number one most frequently reported challenging listening situation. And I would venture to say that there is a high likelihood that you agree that this is the most challenging environment that you would ever find yourself in. Struggling with any one of these challenging listening situations is bad enough, but if you happen to struggle in all three of them, then you really need hearing aids that can help you out as much as humanly possible. The good news is Oticon, today's video sponsor, has addressed all three of these challenging listening situations with the development of their new Oticon More line of hearing aids. The Oticon More hearing aid was specifically designed to address nearly all of the challenging listening listening situations that you may encounter as a hearing aid user. Let's go down the list of these challenging situations one by one, starting with the television. The goal for watching TV is to have the TV at a reasonable volume for everyone else in the room, but then having your hearing aids specifically programmed to amplify the sounds that you need more of to give you better clarity. To accomplish this, the Oticon More has up to 24 adjustment bands to allow your hearing care professional to specifically amplify the frequencies that you need more 
more of so you can get more clarity out of the TV, not just more volume out of the TV. Think of these 24 different adjustment bands as being like an equalizer that your hearing care professional can use, just like an audio producer to make things sound exactly the way that they want. This prevents that issue that I talked about before called upward spread of masking, which makes the TV louder but not clearer, and makes it so you can understand dialogue much more clearly, even if there's some background sounds going on at the same time. If this level of programming precision that can be obtained with the Oticon More hearing aids is still not enough to overcome the poor quality of speakers on your TV or just bad acoustics in your TV room, then you can use the TV streamer to take audio directly from your TV and send it wirelessly into both of your Oticon More hearing aids and that will solve the problem entirely. Okay, so we solved the problem with the TV using the Oticon More hearing aids, but how do the Oticon More hearing aids help you solve the problem of understanding speech better on the telephone? This problem is easily solved by the Oticon More hearing aids as well because you can directly connect your Oticon More hearing aids to your smartphone. That way, the person that you're talking to on the phone, their voice gets streamed directly into your ears wirelessly so you can hear them in both ears at the same time, which we all know gives you better speech intelligibility. The Oticon More hearing aid uses Bluetooth low energy, which means that it's made for iPhone, but it also uses the ASHA Bluetooth protocol, which means that you can use your Oticon More hearing aids with an Android phone as well. If you want to be completely hands-free, the Oticon More hearing aid is compatible with the Oticon Connect Clip, so you can use the Connect Clip to pick up your own voice to send to your phone if you want to keep your phone in your pocket. Okay, TV? Check. Telephone? Check. Now let's go ahead and talk about perhaps the most challenging listening situation that anyone would ever encounter, which is a noisy environment like a restaurant. When it comes to hearing better in these noisy situations, the Oticon More hearing aid uses deep learning to help it better separate speech from the background noise. Now if you have not yet heard about deep learning, get ready to hear about it a lot, because I believe that deep learning is going to completely revolutionize the way that engineers design hearing aids to process sound in the future. In order to create a hearing hearing aid that uses deep learning, Oticon had to develop a deep neural network and train it with over 12 million unique sound samples so it could identify the unique characteristics of speech and non-speech sounds. The result is a hearing aid that can precisely identify the characteristics that make speech speech and the characteristics that make noise noise. And it's not limited to the limited capacity of an audio engineer to identify the specific characteristics of these sounds inside of a mad -made algorithm. All this simply means is that when you go into a noisy situation like a restaurant, the Oticon More hearing aid uses this deep learning to help you understand speech better even though there's background noise. In fact, the Oticon More hearing aid that uses deep learning gives you access to 30% more sound and 15% better speech understanding than the previous Oticon Open S hearing aids that were fantastic hearing aids in their own right. Now, if you want to learn more about deep learning and deep neural networks, then I highly recommend that you check out my review video that I will have linked in the description. Of course, if one of the world's most advanced hearing aids that uses deep learning to help you hear better in a background noise situation is still not enough, then I also recommend that you check out the Oticon Connect clip, which will help you overcome background noise situations even better. I do have a review video of that particular device as well. So whether it's trying to hear the TV better, trying to hear on the telephone better, or just trying to hear in a really nasty, noisy environment better, the Oticon More line of hearing aids really has you covered. When it comes right down to it, there are certain situations that you may find more challenging than others. You may find the ones that I just talked about to be the ones that are most challenging for you, or you may have other situations that you find to be more challenging as well. Your job is to identify what your challenging listening situations are and share them with your hearing care professional so you guys can collaborate and identify what the best hearing aid is for you to overcome them. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.